Hello, my name is Aaron and welcome to another video. Today we're talking about the best video format settings for Sony mirrorless cameras. Now, choosing which video format to use on your Sony mirrorless camera can be quite confusing as there are three different options to choose from. Those are MP4, AVC HD and XAVCS. And in this video in particular, we're going to talk about AVCD, HD and XAVCS. A bit of a mouthful. Now, for the sake of this comparison, I'm going to ignore MP4 because even though the file sizes are very small, the video quality is just far too low. So, when selecting your video quality settings, you may not even have the option of XAVCS, and there is a couple of reasons for this. Now, if you bought cameras like the Sony A5100 or the Sony A6000, they won't have had the latest firmware straight out of the box if you bought them when they first came out. So, you'll need to check online for the latest version of the firmware, and that will add XAVCS to the options. Now the second reason you might not be able to select it is that you do need a certain type of memory card to be able to record to XAVCS. So you need an SDXC memory card. You'll just see that it says SDXC instead of SDHC, which most memory cards have. You'll need this type of memory card because XAVCS format requires a higher bitrate transferal to the memory card. So these higher speed memory cards are the only ones that can handle that file type. Whereas AVC HD will record to the normal SDHC memory cards. This might make the decision of what video format to use if you only have an SDHC memory card. To change your video quality settings, you need to go to Camera Settings, Tab 2, File Format, and there you can see XAVCS. But we'll go through now the pros and cons of these different recording formats. But before we get started, please consider subscribing to the channel and dropping a like on the video. So first up, we're going to talk about XAVCS. We're recording in this format now, and we are recording at 50 frames per second at 50 megabits per second transfer speed. Now, the first thing you'll notice about this is that when you're transferring the files to the computer, you'll notice that the file sizes are very large. This is because you are transferring all that extra data per second to the memory card. At 50 megabits per second, this is considerably larger than the other file sizes. And these larger file sizes do mean an improvement in quality. However, to the naked eye, this might not be apparent straight away. If you're recording at 25 frames per second, for example, and your subject matter isn't moving around so much, you may not see a huge amount of difference between these different shots, and I'll drop in plenty of comparisons marking which one is which throughout this video. But you will start noticing that difference in quality if you're recording at higher frame rates. For the older cameras, such as the A5100 and the A6000, that's capped out at 60 frames per second. But some of the newer cameras record up to 120 frames per second, and some of them even in 4K, and this video format does support 4K. I find XAVCS very easy to use in editing software, as it actually writes it out as MP4 format. Larger file sizes and improved quality it does mean that you'll have better highlight control across your videos. You should have darker darks and whiter whites. You'll also notice higher detail retention, especially at larger zoom ranges and higher frame rates. But as mentioned, you will need the SDXC type of memory card, which costs a little extra compared to normal memory cards. I'll put some links down in the description to show the differences between the different types of memory cards and the file sizes will be much larger. Okay, now let's talk about AVC HD format. I've swapped the video format over to record in this setting now, and you'll probably notice not that much of a difference. It's still recording at 50 frames per second, but it is now recording at 28 megabits per second. But because this is a well-lit room and I'm not moving around so much, there's probably not much detail difference that you're going to be trying to spot compared to the video before. You're probably not going to see that much of a difference. And to be honest, I do think AVC HD is a good quality video format. It's not that XAVCS is so much better that you absolutely must use it. It is a judgment call, especially when it comes down to file sizes. Maybe you only have an SDHC memory card or you're somewhere where you only have one memory card and you definitely don't want to fill it up too quickly. These are real situations that do happen. So there are plus points to it, but you will notice limitations, especially if you're trying to record in the absolute best quality that you possibly can. As I mentioned before, that detail retention is just not going to be as good in AVC HD, and you'll also notice less highlight control. So, similar to XAVCS, AVC HD does also record in up to 60 frames per second. However, if you're using one of the newer cameras, you don't have that 4K support that XAVCS does have. And because of those file sizes are roughly half, the bitrate quality is 28 megabits per second compared to 50 on XAVCS, 
there is simply less data of what you're trying to capture being stored. This means that detail is going to be lost, highlights are going to be lost, and especially at those higher frame rates, you are going to see a loss in detail. So here are some examples now of these video formats looking particularly good in my opinion. The format settings I've used for these is where I think they look optimal. So primarily for XAVCS, I will use at 50 or 60 frames per second, depending on your region. And for AVC HD, I do think it looks best at 25 frames per second. For the side-by-side -side comparisons, I've done them both at 50 frames per second, but some of the other footage I'll put in there will be at 25, but I'll mark that on the video. So here is that example footage. So my recommendation would be XAVCS if you can. You will need that SDXC memory card and you do need to put up with those larger file sizes. But for me, those downsides are worth it because the higher video quality, especially in low light and at higher frame rates, does look considerably better. So which video format do you use? Let me know in the comments below. But as always, if you've enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing to the channel and dropping a like on the video. Also, you can check out my photography on Instagram at Aaron.Prescott. But that's it from me for now. Until next time, see ya.